jerseys. Yes. We like jerseys. I mean, shorts and jerseys are two core products. Mm. I think that's fair to say. Um, we've got a couple of different varieties here. There's, I think there's a couple of things to talk about as well. There's style, you know, which we've got patterns and there's a lot of kind of heritage and, and design has gone into certain aesthetics. And then there's more like classic, which, you know, navies and reds and some of the khaki colors, which I really like. Um, they just change the way they feel, I find, when you put them on. As in, you're making a bit more of a kind of statement with certain Yeah, parts. I mean, I'm really into kind of my retro stuff, you know, and I quite like wearing them. They're a hell of a lot baggier um, than, than kind of, everything's gone very close fitting, tailored, aero. Um, but you'll, most jerseys you'll find the market now are, even though it's not made to measure for your fit with the stretch and the materials used now you'll find that it fits perfect yeah. um, which I think is brilliant as a, as a customer if you're buying something you want it to fit you want it to look good everyone wants to look good when they go out on their bikes the, the, the kit that you wear the color of the kit you wear and particularly the jersey is kind of the icing on the cake really um, so I think it's a very very important part of the whole look really um, and you know people want value but they're not frightened to spend money on something that is quality so it's that balance between price bracket and absolute quality. So going again to you know why you would pay a little bit more on what you get for it, uh, a little bit like with the shorts, we talked about the fact that the jersey stays its integral and its shape and mm. fit. So a couple of things that I really look for when I'm looking at a jersey is, one, I hate any rattling. So if the zip isn't a lockdown zip, something that you can you know, just keep yeah. in place, like I just can't stand it and really something that winds me up. The second thing is logos that don't deteriorate uh, and then also fabric, like you don't want a fabric to fade over time, you know, sun is actually a very strong uh, abrasion to fabric. When you're out in the sun, you know, hours and hours at a time, it can actually compromise the fabric quite a lot. So those are things that actually are worth paying a little bit more for. Um, yeah. You will yeah. feel the difference as well as just a, a nice soft silky fit. Um, you know, there's a lot of different types of jeans. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of these are based on what pro riders used and the fit that's come in in the last. So, one of my pet hates is, you know, as a club rider, as a rider that goes on the weekends, um, you, 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 I sort of realised when I retired the amount of stuff you have to take with you on a bike when you're on your own and yes. you haven't got a team car behind you. <laughs> that's a good point. Um, so, as aero as the jerseys have got, and as lovely as the materials have got, and as stretchy as they've got, I still like a sturdy pocket. You know that you can put your pump. Obviously your tubes go under your saddle. Then you've got your bars and gels and food and this, that and the other. So, and then if, you, you know, if you're out for a long time, you quite often take a rain cape in the UK. Yep. And that's a lot of stuff. So you know, you've got quite bulgy pockets that are kind of weighing down when you're out the saddle, bouncing up and down. So it's a lot to think about. So I do like a sturdy set of pockets on the back um, as, as lightweight as the, you know, it's that balance between a lightweight jersey, stretchy material, yep but still having sturdy pockets so your phone's not whacking up and down yeah. while you're out the saddle sprinting or something, so. There's a few different types of jerseys. You've got uh, sort of lightweight jerseys, you've got standard jerseys, you've got super lightweight jerseys, and then you've got kind of more thermal jerseys. I was just picking up this one here, which is a fully uh, waterproof membrane fabric, but equally stretchy uh, and um, quite, a, quite a good cut on it. I mean, mm. when I say good, I mean a tight cut, so it's not, Bulky. Race cut, isn't it? Yeah, call it like a race cut. cut. Yeah. Um, so it's something you can race in all day. This, if it's absolutely. if it's raining, isn't it? And, or even just wear all day. Mm. You know, it's going to keep you warm. If it rains or hails or sleets or anything like that, you've actually got a lot more protection. But it is still a jersey. Well, even things like uh, sleeve length. You know, mm. what? How long should it be? Because it's changed. It used to be kind of up here, and now some of the pros have got it at their elbows. Uh, you know, what's and we where, differ on this, don't we? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So you know, it's, you like uh, to roll them up, don't you? Yeah, I quite often like short sleeves, and quite often cut the sleeves off and that. But I know. A lot of professionals race with sleeves lengths down to here and stuff yeah. but I just think you know when you when we're not pros anymore no. and so when you've got tan lines from just there downwards you look a bit silly when you put a normal t-shirt on you know and I think uh, I think you're I will, settled with your pro I career take, maybe I wish I was I will bit, take that to the grave yeah. I wish I was a bit some better. of us haven't given it up yet, so. <laughs> still trying to be a pro um, but right. the reality is Everyone who goes out on their bike, or majority of people that go out on their bike on a Saturday or Sunday, whether it's Richmond Park, whether it's somewhere else, you know, they all want to feel like they're racing in the Tour de France. Well, at least that's what I still do when I go out, you know? <laughs> you still do that. And so you want to have the feel, you want to have the look. When I go running, I want to, I, in my head, I think I look like Mo Farah. The reality <laughs> looks quite different. I probably look ridiculous. But that's 
somehow that's this wonderful thing that sport and particularly cycling does. It allows you to be whoever you want to be yeah. for that moment in time or and that if ride. that switches you on, gets you motivated. Well, it's that's, you know, each to their own and, you know, you could be doing worse things in life. So it's, it's brilliant and the kit has evolved so much now over the years. I mean, you, you, from since when you started, really, it's, it's phenomenal, really. And it's amazing we're sitting here talking about this sort of stuff when you think what we were using back 20 years ago when we were juniors and uh, it's come a long way. It's night and day, isn't yeah. it?